do plants produce nectar every day? Um, do, when they are visited frequently by pollinators, do they produce more nectar? Thank you. My name is Joanne Brunet. I am a scientist with USDA ARS and a professor in um, entomology at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Actually, not all plants produce nectar to start with. Only plants that are visited by pollinators and animal type pollinators. Uh, plants that are wind pollinated, for example, will not produce nectar. So the plants that do produce nectar, they will produce nectar as long as their flowers are open. So you need a flower to uh, make nectar. Some plants are what we call hermaphroditic. They're both male and female. And when they do that, they will tend to uh, produce their nectar every day. Other plants can open as male first and then become female. The flowers will change gender over time. And then the amount of nectar produced every day could change because of that. When the nectar is depleted, the plant will tend to make more nectar. But they only do that, as a, you know, not automatically, it takes some time. The nectar is made for pollinators as a reward, like it's offered, the plant offers it as a reward, so it's food for pollinators. So nectar is how pollinators get their sugar. They need the plant to survive because that's where they get their food. The only food they eat is the nectar and the sugar, pretty much, that is provided by the plant. So we need to maintain these plants so we can maintain the pollinators. A pollination is super, super important. I mean, um, I think 80% of flowering plant requires some form of pollination, of insects for pollination or animal for pollination. So the biggest pollinators probably, especially in the temperate regions, are bees. Uh, in agriculture, bees play a very big role uh, for seed set. Uh, most of the vegetables and most of the fruits and canola and alfalfa, some of the oil producing and hay producing crops, requires insect for seed production.